Hi everyone, in this video, we will be able to switch between lanes using the left and right arrow keys. Our braille will be able to move to the right and the left. But first of all, I'm gonna give you an overview of what we are going to do. So uh, let's get started. So let's suppose that this is our ground and we have our player in the middle over here. We need to go to the right and the left when we uh, swipe to the right or the left and the idea to do that is uh, that we are going to uh, divide our ground to three major parts the, le the left the middle and the right and we are going to make a new variable for that and we are going to call it desired lay and it's going to be 0 when our player is on the left and 1 if he's in the middle and 2 if he's on the right by default is he's going to be in the middle so the desired lane uh, is going to be initialized to 1 by default and then we are going to check the input if we make the right swipe or left swipe we are going to change this variable and the player will change his position accordingly so let's implement this with our c sharp script first we need to declare uh, two other new variables and the first one will be private in desired lane and it's going to be initialized by default to one so the player is by default in the middle if this variable is equal to 0 then we are going to uh, be on the left if it's 2 we need to be on the right side and the second one is going to be public float and it's going to be the lane distance so the distance between two lanes and let's give it a value by default for so this is the distance between two lanes now under the update method we need to gather the inputs on which lane we should be so we are going to check if we click on the right arrow we need to go to uh, the right so we are going to change the desired lane the same thing for the left so we are not going to use the swipe controls for this video we are going to implement this later on so let's make an if condition so if input dot get key down and we are going to use key code dot right arrow if we click on the right arrow then we need to increment the desired lane by one so the desired lane plus plus but if we are actually on the right then the desired lane will be equals to 3 in this case we need to give it back to 2 or the player will be outside of the ground if desired lane equals 3 in this case we we'll give it back to 2 the same thing for the left arrow I'm going to copy and paste this over here and for this time if we click on the left arrow we need to decrement the desired lane by one and if it's equal to minus one then we need to put it at zero and for now we are just gather the inputs on which lane we should be and now we need to calculate where we should be using the desired lane value so we are going to declare a new variable which is going to be uh, the player new position so let's call it target position or new position and it's going to be a vector 3 it's going to be equal to transform dot position dot z multiplied by transform 
dot forward plus the transform dot position dot y multiplied by transform dot up and now let me scale, let me zoom out a little bit and now depending on the desired lane value so if the desired lane equal to zero then we need to be on the left and we are going to add to the target position the transform dot right or left in this case we can use also vector 3 dot left multiplied by the lane distance that we just created but if the desired lane is equal to 2 then we need to add vector 3 dot right else if the desired lane is equal to 2 in this case we are going to add to the target position vector 3 dot right the same thing multiplied by the lane distance and if it's equal to 1 then we are not going to change this so he's going to be in the middle and here we just uh, calculate the target position we need to assign this to the transform that position transform dot position equal the new target position and he's going to be in the right lane now let's save this and go back into unity select the player and i'm going to change the forward speed to zero so that you can see the player here can go to the right and the left hit this run button now i'm going to use the left and the right arrow to move you see here that the player can change the lane using these arrows but as you can see he's moving so fast between them so we are going to uh, add some smoothness to uh, this transition and we are going to do that by changing this statement so we are going to use the vector3.lurk to add some smoothness to uh, this transition vector3.lurk the first parameter is the start position we are going to go from the transform the position to the target position and to add some smoothness we need to add uh, the float variable and let's try with the uh, 80 multiplied by time to data time now let's save this and go back into unity to test it again now we can go to the right and the left with some smoothness but i'm gonna change the lane distance so let's put it to uh, 2.5 and let's change the forward speed so we can see the final result let's test our game now the player can move forward and we can change the lane using these arrows so that's pretty much it for this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section below. And uh, have a great day, see you later on.